Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Caps Killer. So, GeForce Now, there was a new update that was recently updated. As a matter of fact, this morning, uh, March 16th, Monday, 2020, uh, this update, basically what it does, it, uh, it lowers the latency and it keeps the quality a little bit better and it's also more consistent with the performance but one of the biggest upgrades that they've done with this update currently is the uh, to work with your router with your 5 gigahertz router and if you have a 5 gigahertz router uh, right now I'm using a 5 gigahertz router and I'm playing a uh, the Crew 2 I also want to mention that the Crew 2 will be available on Hook Stadia uh, that's coming out along with Division 2 by the end of uh, this week along with uh, Doom Eternal. So this Friday is going to be pretty big for Hook Stadia because you got you got uh, Division 2, you got uh, the Crew 2, and you got Doom Eternal, which is a pretty big one. All right, so let's go uh, and let's uh, let's go drive uh, just to show you how it looks. This is a uh, French live summit. This is 1080p 60, but it's everything set to the ultra settings. You know, I'm running this at, at like ultra settings, and it looks pretty darn good. Clearly, as you can see by watching this um, actually this is 1080p uh, 60 but I'm also upscaling it to 1440p uh, 60 recording but everything set to ultra settings uh, let me quit this let me just get out of this and let me just go do uh, free driving right here. Here we go. Got myself a Suzuki here. I forgot that I'm driving a Suzuki. Oh, this looks pretty good, man. Quality wise. Oh, yeah. So, in another news as well, I don't know if you guys heard or not. Uh, there's also this breaking news that the uh, Epic Games, uh, the CEO of the Epic Games says that he's going to support uh, GeForce Now. So, you will see plenty of games coming up on... Um, on GeForce Now from the Epic Store. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, hopefully this news, this news that uh, Epic Games will support GeForce Now, hopefully this will change Bethesda's and Activision's mind. Because um, as you can see, I think GeForce Now really has a good handle on, on the cloud gaming here. They've been testing cloud gaming in beta for several years, uh, seven years to be exact. And I think GeForce Now could be that, in my opinion, probably the best cloud gaming service if, if um, publishers and developers would come to some sort of uh, common sense Maybe, maybe, hopefully, I can only hope. But as you can see here, it runs pretty darn good, man. Uh, no issues with latencies, no issues with the input lag. Um, runs smooth. The ping, it's probably seven milliseconds. There is a little bit of a teardown, but that's because I have, uh, that's because I have 
not enabled uh, V-Sync. You know, the V-Sync on. I probably turned the V-Sync off. Hold on. I forgot how to uh, go to a first-person mode. Honestly, I have I totally forgot. How do you go to a first-person mode? Let me try a different car. Yeah, choose. What is this? I want to try something else. Porsche 911. Oh yeah, man. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with this. Hell yeah. Now we're talking. So... I might do a live stream today to for me to test um, GeForce Now with this new update. Um, as you can see, looks pretty darn good. Runs pretty darn good. And uh, here I am with a 5 gigahertz router. I would highly recommend that you guys get a 5 gigahertz router. Uh, you'll definitely see a much better improvement. I don't know if the shadow will be able to do, uh, in terms of latency, I don't know if shadow will be able to do anything better than what we're seeing here, it, to be honest with you. Oh, look at that, somebody wants to challenge me. Oh, I love the car, man. Oh, he, won't, he, wants, to, he wants to race. Oh. Oh yeah, now we're talking. Oh yeah, brother, let's go. It's on. It's on right now. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, dude, he's got a much faster car, obviously. He's got a Porsche 911. Beast. Probably like twin turbo thousand horsepower or whatever the hell no way I can keep up with him dude no way dude he's got a nitro he's got he's got everything no way I can keep up bro Dude, he left me in the dust. There he is, there he is. Hold on. I always wanted to do this. Oh my goodness. I just screwed up my car. You know what? The crew tool looks pretty darn good, man. Look at that, that's volumetric smoke, man. Looks pretty darn good. I want to see how um, Google Stadia version of this game runs uh, this Friday. Uh, man, there's a bunch of games I gotta test this Friday. Obviously, there's Doom Eternal. There's Division 2. There's three games I gotta test this uh, coming Friday. I've got this. We got The Crew 2 on Google Stadia. 4K HDR, obviously. I'm sure it's gonna look freaking fantastic in 4K uh, in HDR on Google Stadia. Then we got Division 2. Then we got, obviously, the big one, Doom Eternal. That's where, where, where the, the, to me, the biggest test is going to be uh, Doom Eternal. It. Jump.
Runs pretty good, man. Looks good. No issues, no problems, man. I love this new update. I like what they're doing with this new update. Let me try a different car. Hold on. Let's see what else we got. Um, man, I got a bunch of stuff here. Um, let's see. What is this? It's a Uh Porsche 911. Audi. Looks like a Porsche, another Porsche. Let's select. Oh, nice, man. This one looks nice, too. Nice. Let me test some more cars. Uh, see what I've got here. There's a Corvette. Let's try this. Let me see, let me try. Let me go back to my bike. Nice. As you can see, man, the game's running good. It runs great, no issues. Um, how do I... I totally forgot how to... Uh... Trying to figure out... Which way, which button do I press to, um, to use a first person mode? Oh, you, 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 oh, I see. That's how you use the, uh, the first person mode. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Nice. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. I think this is pretty cool, man, that, that we really have come to this uh, level of gaming where you don't have to have a high-end GPU, high-end CPU. Guys, let's remember, eight years ago, nine years ago, ten years ago, you couldn't do something like this without paying $1,500 for like a very expensive laptop. You know, you couldn't play this type of uh, graphics and game on your computer without spending like $1,500. Things have changed with the cloud gaming. And I think this is the part of the cloud gaming that's gonna be really awesome. And this is why this year, 2020, I have really dedicated my channel to cloud gaming. Um, People, people ask me, why are you still on cloud uh, Google Stadia thing? Because why not? The service is still running. Uh, I got a bunch of games on there. Uh, Doom Eternal's coming on Google Stadia. I mean, um, 
why not? I mean, I want to try everything. I want to see what Shadow's gonna do. That's why I can't wait to see how Shadow runs. But people need to understand a couple of things. Uh, Shadow is not a gaming, um, cloud gaming service. Shadow is a uh, cloud computer service where you are renting a computer pretty much a very high-end PC computer in a way GeForce now it is kind of similar to shadow the only difference is GeForce now it's only focused for gaming meaning you can only use their computer for gaming while the shadow is focused on pretty much using it for editing and whatever you leasing a computer but that's why I want to test shadow to see for myself all right well there you have it guys um, like I said it runs great looks great um, not bad very impressive and um, This guy looks like Phil Harrison <laughs> on a Suzuki. Uh, look, man, GeForce Now is still great. I still have it. I still have my $5 a month uh, RTX Founders Edition. Uh, so uh, I'll do some more li uh, live streams on this. We'll talk about it a little bit more on my uh, live stream today. We'll talk about GeForce Now. And... Uh, We'll play this game, we'll play uh, this game, and The Siege, Rainbow Six The Siege, we'll play that, and uh, we'll talk about it. I want to hear what you guys have to say, you know. So, uh, I just wanted to give you this little update video on GeForce Now. Like I said, GeForce Now is still great. It's still good. Uh, and, and now with this breaking news that the Epic games gonna support GeForce now that's even more exciting you know so but anyway let me know what you guys think and um, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you guys later have a good one take care